Hi, I'm here at Red Bull's Advanced Technology Centre, just outside of Milton Keynes, a city in the UK you probably know more for being the home of a number of motorsport teams, particularly Formula One, often referred to as Motorsport Valley. But I'm not here for Red Bull and its uh, famous line of giving you wings. Although, having said that, I am here for something that does feature wings quite prominently. I'm here at the Aston Martin Advanced Design Center, where nearby the Valhalla is being developed, of course, that's coming along. But today is not about the Valhalla. It's about something very new, the first time in Aston Martin's 106 year history that they've produced this, an SUV, the brand new DBX. Over the years, I've heard a lot of designers say it's a very difficult thing to design a good looking SUV. And certainly we've seen examples where things maybe haven't quite worked out the way we would like. But one of the challenges facing Aston Martin with its first SUV was to be able to produce one that looks like an Aston Martin, that can proudly wear the wings. And in the case of the DBX, there are lots of signature items that have a, an element of familiarity. A big one, of course, literally a big one, is the grill. The biggest grill ever produced on an Aston Martin and referred to by the guys as the DB grill. Another thing that's come in, of course, with the second century plan from Aston Martin is the Vantage with its great lip that we see on the back. Maybe you call it a ducktail, whatever, but uh, that is very prominent as well with the DBX sculpted rear um, with great LED lighting and something that is going to be very much a signature now for Aston Martin. Not surprisingly, we need to talk quite a bit about the interior. 200 hours of hand crafting, hand assembly and all the rest to put this together. Typical Aston Martin, luxury, leather, lots of materials. One of the things that uh, certainly stands out here as a feature is the bridge console. That's not Star Trek related, but uh, it doesn't enable this space underneath with enough space to put whatever you like, your bits and pieces and of course the iPhone charging pad or your cell phone charging pad. Not surprisingly these days, we've got a lot of uh, components which might have some element of familiarity. Um, we've got a large TFT screen in the center for the infotainment and another one for the instrument cluster, which you may recognize as being a little bit Mercedes. That's because they are. Um, we obviously know about the shareholding stake that Daimler has, and there are certain other components, but everything has that Aston Martin twist, as you would expect. This is the first ever, believe it or not, fully five-seater vehicle for Aston Martin. And there actually is space for three adults to sit across here. Maybe not so easily in the center there. But the nice thing is that one of the problems with a lot of models that have a panoramic sunroof is the lack of headroom. And we also have all this coupe-like styling that everybody goes on about. Um, which also means that somebody like me, who's quite a taller adult, would often be brushing my head. I'm not. There's quite a bit of clearance there for me, which is quite nice. And there's loads of space to put child seats in because it's a family SUV for the well-heeled. Um, and you can even get special leather-covered maxi-cozy child seats for your Aston Martin media. <laughs> I have to tell you that this isn't quite the final, final DBX that will be delivered to customers. This is still a pre-production with a few tweaks to be done, which is why I can't actually show you what's underneath this big sculpted clamshell bonnet. But I can assure you there is a four liter twin turbocharged V8 from Mercedes AMG, pushing out 405 kilowatts, 700 Newton meters, and capable of a sprint to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.5 seconds and a top speed of 290. 1 kilometers an hour, but only if you happen to be tracking next to Bloodhound on the Hackskeen Pound outside of Uppington. So there you have it, the Aston Martin DBX, a very, very important car for the company and its first SUV in its history of over 106 years. So from our very first look at the Aston Martin DBX, 
Let's cheers for me.